when you were cut as a child, if you fell off your bike yeah. and cut your chin, you, your parents, because of their religious beliefs, being Christian scientists, would not have you get stitches right. or take you to the doctor. Now, is it oversimplifying? Because I grew up in a religious home myself, yeah. and sometimes it's oversimplifying to say, oh, wow, you know, I had a conservative upbringing, and that's what kind of caused me this great pain. But right. how did that affect you? Well, you know, I, I think you could take it both ways. I, I think when it, it, some ways that the religion was expressed to me, I thought were amazing, and I went to a great camp um, that uh, really taught more about it. So I have a lot of uh, really fond memories and, and love about it. But there's, as in everything, there's people's interpretation of any religion can can go to the extreme, uh -huh. and uh, I think a lot of people. Maybe you know you see the things on TV, and you know Law and Order had a couple episodes where there was you know with a Christian Science family and things like that. Uh -huh. That there are some people that could take it to extremes. Um, but was that the genesis of this low-grade sadness? No, that you no, talked no, about? no. I think it was, was just that a, just an aloof, just an father, overall, overbearing, uh, just what? an overall, just a lack of you know an extreme lack of support, so an uh -huh. extreme lack of you know wanting people to be individuals, uh, you know. Um, um, you could probably come up with lots of examples of just you know, you know, bad parenting 101, that that influenced me. And basically, my reaction to it was to just spend as much time as I could alone, even as a, a pretty little kid. Uh -huh. So, and that's why I have a, a part in there. When I was alone, I was safe. When I was alone, I could think or do yeah. whatever I wanted to do and not feel stupid or crazy. And that's really the genesis of a of a later. Uh, interpretation of life, which in some ways it's good, but in some ways it's bad, because the hero is protected because he's not influenced by people saying, "Hey, if you want to be my friend, you got to do this," or "If you want to be a, a team player, you got to do that." Yeah. Which I think is a really important message that I pass on to my kids. That probably if you tell people, "Hey, I'm not going to do that just because you're pressuring me," uh, there's a good chance that they're going to make fun of you, not yeah. not say, "Oh, you're the." the coolest guy in the school. Uh, yeah, yeah. So for me, that was also a big part of it growing up in a religion that a lot of people didn't have is everybody in the school knew that. And it, you know, if you could think of a minority, you're definitely a minority. Yeah. Because it was a lack of understanding and uh, you know, even things like uh, even shots, you know, getting getting your immunizations, we never got immunized. Wow. Well, everybody knew at school cuz you're the one Standing out of the line. Okay. So there was that was that was sort of an isolation there, but in a way it sort of strengthened me mm -hmm. because I wasn't uh, as I became an adult. There was no one that could have me do anything that I didn't want to do, which I think is an incredibly important message, especially now with the whole peer pressure thing, the social media, people doing things that they would never do just to be popular, just to get likes or you know likes on that. Yeah. And I, th I think it's really important that, that kids realize that what they think is the right thing to do is always the right thing to do. You know, if they think it's right, stick with it. You okay. know, don't 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 fall into peer pressure. So I think I was lucky in some respects to mm -hmm. have that upbringing because I think it made me self-reliant. Okay. Um, but they did, you know, they did provide, you know, the, to the best that they could. The one thing that I didn't like was, or that I found lacking, was this sort of support. You know mm -hmm. the support system. Yeah. My friend, you know, it just seemed it seemed like something natural to other families.